Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. If you're trying to plan some time to get the dog out for a walk today, unfortunately, it's going to be wet all day long, so there's not really a good time to do it. And temperatures are not going to change much, so if you have more time this morning, it's going to be the same as going later today. You don't have to shuffle anything around. Just go when you can. A rain is going to be likely all day with, again, breezy conditions developing, so we'll add in the wind to make it even more miserable, unfortunately. Here's a check of live Doppler 2 HD radar locally looking at the area-wide steady rain with some heavier rainfall across our northern counties, really running from Greenville through Salina into All Glaze County, uh, portions of Shelby County. We have some pockets of moderate rainfall here in Champaign and Clark counties and then also in Montgomery County more back to the south and west. So it is going to be an active day as the remnants of Zeta continue to lift north. Here is the center of circulation and that is going to continue to track just south and east of the Miami Valley today. We also have an upper low back to the west and that's going to continue to sweep across the region as well. So the two features combining to bring us a very wet day. We do have a flooding concern, especially across our southern counties where we could see the heaviest rainfall really running from I-70 southward is where we would have that excessive rain threat. Uh, the good news, the heaviest rain is going to be spread out throughout the day and even into tonight. Uh, so uh, we'll keep an eye on things. Definitely watch for some ponding out there. But anywhere from an inch to close to two inches is expected. There could even be some isolated uh, spots that get closer to the three inch mark. So a lot of rain spread out through today and even into tonight. Future track shows the steady rain for the morning commute. Again, ponding is going to be likely. That will still be the case at noon with some heavier rainfall continuing across the area. We do expect it to lighten up a little bit this afternoon, but still a nice steady rain coming through for the drive home this evening. And then we're going to continue to see this wind down as that upper low swings through tonight. We're back to dry weather as we go into Friday morning. A lot of cloud cover around through the first part of Friday. It does look like later in the day we'll start to see a little more sunshine. That will set us up for a clear night and a cold night. Friday night into Saturday morning we expect to drop down near 30 degrees. Another cold night to have on the radar is Monday. So Sunday night into Monday morning we drop into the upper 20s. Two nights coming up where you'll definitely want to protect your plants. Today, rain heavy at times, a breezy, chilly afternoon with a high of 48 only. Rain through midnight and then will dry out, dropping to a chilly 37. Tomorrow, the clouds will be around in the morning, slowly decreasing in the afternoon with a high of 48. And then Saturday, we'll start off cold in the morning, but a nice afternoon for Halloween with a high of 57. Evening temperatures will be dropping into the low 50s. Sunday, just a slight shower chance as we get another push of cool air. But then we start to warm up going through next week.